Okay, so you uh, ever break off your uh, bleeder screw on your brakes? Uh, I'm working on a Polaris 500 and I'm going to show you a quick tip of what to do if you uh, broke the bleeder screw off. So <laughs> I took the whole brake caliper off and what I'm doing is I'm just taking the brake line that's going down to the caliper off and I'm going to put it in um, a little jar of brake fluid. I had to take a this thing was so rusted on. Pull that off and put it right in there right away. I don't know if you can see that. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the brake lever and bubbles should come out. And if you can see the bubbles. Keep pumping your brakes, keep an eye on the fluid level in your reservoir. Yeah, she's tightening up, I can feel it's working. Yeah, I'm going to check to see if bubbles are still coming. Now also what I'm trying to do is I'm going to keep, keep pumping the old brake fluid out. And the reservoir is getting low, I'm going to top it off. Try to flush it out so all the new brake fluid gets in there. Now the jar is starting to fill up. Get that old crap out of there. I'm going to do this until I don't see any more black crap coming out. Okay, so I'm going to call that good. Now, the next trick, or my next trick, it's like a magician, take the caliper and uh, I'm going to get some of that old crap out of there. Just empty that out. This would be the time to push this uh, piston in flat. And then what you want to do is pour some brake fluid in there. That way, no air is in there. Oops. Try to get any air bubbles out. All right. I got that filled up. Now, what you want to do is you want to try to get that on there as quick as possible. Thread it back in so air doesn't get in there and your brakes will tighten up real nice. Also keep an eye on your reservoir. Make sure that uh, up by the handlebars. Make sure that doesn't go low. Alright, let's see what we can do. Pull it off quick, put that right in there. Oop. So my brakes were so rusty that, that uh, I knew I would have snapped the, the bleeder screw off. I'm just going to try to spin this back on the way it was. Should be what work was. Oh yeah, piston already pumped up. Yeah, let's push it back. Okay, I got everything all reassembled. As you can see, when I turn it, she spins. Not as freely as I want to. I think uh, needs a little adjustment. Now that I grab the brake. She's tight. It is not moving anywhere. 
So, like I said, you got an issue with your bleeder screw snapping off, try this little trick. But you have to make sure that this caliper is facing with the opening up when you hook up your line. Don't, don't try to hook it up that way. Hook it up, uh, lay it uh, straight up and down, pour the fluid in, put your line on, tighten everything up, and uh, that'll solve your problem. Save you uh, some money from buying new calipers. Hope this tip helped. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of Polaris fixes on there. And uh, till next time.